Yeah, hi there, uh, Adriana. This is Michael again, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for the Seven Step System to Pass the TOEFL IBT. And right now, if I remember correctly, you're working on some of the pronunciation exercises in my Speak Clearly part of my course. You're working on your accent reduction. And that's what I want to give you some feedback on right now. So, okay, let's go over to the Voxipop group. And I will comment as I go, as I actually listen to what you're doing. I'll try to give you some feedback. In this situation, you recognize that your teacher has a desire to be respected. In 1978, the United States Supreme Court declared marriage to be of fundamental importance to all individuals. Can stop there now. Individuals, not individuals, but again individuals and also the word in there is um, marriage 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 as the plane uses jet engines or even propeller is propeller in some cases to move itself forward air rushes by the wing that was pretty good not bad so you said itself in, in some cases. The pilot might increase engine power, which increases thrust, which increases lift over again. It makes this drop in altitude manual. Let's try the Anyone who can read and write can improve. Okay, let's try the word. You said drop, drop. I'm going to say drop, more like a J and an R. Drop, drop. It's not really a D there. It's more of a J. J. Drop. All right, let's go back a little bit. I want to hear the last one you're doing here. In altitude manual. Anyone who can read and write can improve the efficiency of their memory. Okay, not bad. Okay, now the next thing, I want to go ahead and read them with you right now. So repeat after me. And again, you're working on the I... E, e, e. In this situation, you recognize that your teacher has a desire to be respected. How would you like to have a time machine? Then you have two. In 1978, the United States Supreme Court declared marriage to be of fundamental importance to all individuals. So again, here the words marriage, marriage. Number three. As the plane uses jet engines, or even a propeller in some cases, to move itself forward, air rushes by the wing. Number four, the pilot must increase engine power, which increases thrust, which increases lift over again. It makes this drop in altitude manual. Number five, Anyone who can read and write can improve the efficiency of their memory. Okay, let's go to the next part. So you're getting to the, the reading passage. How would you like to have a time machine that could take you back anywhere over the past 300,000 years? Okay, let's try that again. So, how would, remember the W, rounding of the lips, how would you, how would you like to have a time machine that could take you back anywhere over the past three, three hundred thousand years? That TH sound and the W sound was a little bit hard for you there. You could see what the world was like when ice sheets a thousand feet, feet thick Blanketed Canada and Northern Europe. Good. You're trying the TH. It's a little bit hard for you. You're having difficulties producing it, but you remembered on that. That's good. Or when the Indonesian volcano TBA blew its, blew its top in the largest volcano. Now, wait a minute. More air there. Top. 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 Practice. T top. Remember the T and the P. T -t -t top eruption of the last half million years. Try that word, y years, 
years. Okay, now read with me now. How would you like to have a time machine that could take you back anywhere over the past 300,000 years? You could see what the world was like when ice sheets a thousand feet thick blanketed Canada and Northern Europe, or when the Indonesian volcano TBA blew its top in the largest volcanic eruption of the last half million years. Yeah, hi there, uh, Adrian. Okay, now we're going over to the next one. Okay, it looks like right now you're getting into the the three, the you. Luck versus crumbs versus could. Uh, uh, uh. This is very difficult. All right, let me get to the reading passage here and find this. Okay, got it. Okay, okay, here we go. So I'm just finding in my book where you are, and I'm going to go over and do some practice with you right now, so let's get going. The ram in the dune was fought for in the dune, and when the fight was done, the rook ruled. When what? That was tough. What a tongue twister, isn't it? You'd say, the rook ruled. R rook ruled. The, you're doing pretty good job with those sounds. In a rude rod, you can go to the zoo to see a hunk of gorillas when, uh, who chew gum and eat gag. So the difficulty really is the R sound here. So rude rut. Rude rut. A soon of cooks come to the house. Try the word not cooks. It's cooks. Uh, cooks. A swoon of cooks. Ooh, uh, a swoon of cooks. Prepare a fuel of food, not now, to the guests who all say yum. At no but don't forget that last sound, who say yum, yum. The new nuts and jewels on the nook were taken by a thief who threw everything into a sack and who jumped through a window. Okay, not bad. Be careful the word through, through. The scarf sludge and dew at the new school was damp into a brook. Now the word is, it's dumped. Duh, umped, dumped. Dumped into a brook. And good intonation on that last one. You said the scud, sludge, and dew. That was good. Your tone was good. So you had rising inflection on the first two points. Your inflection kind of dropped on the last one. That was pretty good. Okay, let's read them together now. This is kind of hard because these are tongue twisters. The rum in the doom was fought for in the duel, and when the fight was done, the rook ruled. Number two, when you're in a rude rut, you can go to the zoo to see a hunk of gorillas who chew gum and eat guck. Number three, a swoon of cooks come to the house to prepare a yule of foods not numb to the guests, which all say numb, it should be who all say numb. You, we use who to refer to people. We use which to refer to uh, things. And that's my mistake there. Sorry. Number four. At noon, the new nuts and jewels on the nook were taken by a thief who threw everything into a sack and who jumped through a window. Number five. The scud, sludge, and dew at the new school was dumped into a brook. Okay, now you're getting into, I think, the paragraph reading. Now I'm recording the long census. According to the book, the electrical basis for the magnetic properties of matter has been verified down to atomic level. Good. That was a good, good reading. Because of the electron has both... Wait a minute. Not because of, because the electron. Be careful. Because of plus prepositional phrase, because plus subject plus verb. So we're talking either about using subordinating conjunctions or using prepositional phrases. An electric charge and a spin, it can be called a charge in motion. Be careful. Not spin, 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 it, spin. 
This charge in motion gives rise to a tiny magnetic field. In the case of many atoms, all the electrons are paired within energy levels. That's a little bit hard for you. Are paired within. Don't forget the T. With the TH. Within. According to the exclusion principle. So that the electron is electrons in each pair have opposite anti-parallel spins and their magnetic field cancel. So that was hard for you again. So that. So that the electrons. This that, these, those, interdental consonants, Adriana, th, th. Cancel. In some atoms, however, there are more electrons who spin in one direction than... Be careful, not spins, spin, it, spins, spins. ...in the other, resulting in a net magnetic field for the atoms as a whole... But it's for the atom as a whole. There's no S there. You might want to read that again. For the atom as a whole. This situation exists in a paramagnetic substance. But it's not this. It's this. This situation. Okay, let's read them together now. You want to read it with me now. Now, again, try to read it at, at the same pace, kind of with the same rhythm. According to the book, the electrical basis for the magnetic properties of matter has been verified down to the atomic level. Because the electron has both an electric charge and a spin, it can be called a charge in motion. This charge in motion gives rise to a tiny magnetic field. In the case of many atoms, all the electrons are paired within energy levels according to the exclusion principle so that the electrons in each pair have opposite anti-parallel spins and their magnetic fields cancel. In some atoms, however, there are more electrons with spins in one direction than in the other, resulting in a net magnetic field for the atom as a whole. This situation exists in a paramagnetic substance. Okay, so now you're getting into uh, exercise 13, the CH and the SH consonant sound, right? Okay, I'm just checking sure to make sure this is still recording. Okay, now, give me a second. Let me find this in my book so I can read along with you. And what you're trying to do right now, part of these uh, exercises, is you're trying to get used to how to produce these sounds and get your vocal tract in your mouth and all of that used to that. So it takes some time and as you practice Adriana you will become m more used to forming these sounds. Okay, so I don't see it there. Here it is. Okay. So the CH and the SH. I got it. This is going to be pretty tough. These are some good tongue twisters. But wash the watch before he matches it to a fashion patch. No, this is hard for you. The coach. The coach should wash the watch. Coach, wash, watch. Matches. It is a chore to short the chore with the shoes that it wears at the seashore. Again, very difficult here. Chore, show, chow, shoes. She shocks, shaves, shears, and chooses which bin to cash in at the market. Not bad. Don't forget there, beans has an S on it. Beans, beans. She brought a cheat sheet with which matches, it, matches the test questions, questions in her class. So these are very tough for you. It's very tough for you to naturally read this with a good pace. Now, why do you think that is? So my theory is you're not used to producing these sounds yet. So when you see too many of them in a row, it's too difficult for your mouth to produce these sounds. It means that you want to keep practicing the CH and the SH sounds. Sherry likes cherries, cheese, chips, and cheap sherbet. Good. That was good. 
Okay, let's do it together now. The coach should wash the watch before he matches it to a fashion patch. Two, it is a chore to show the chow with the shoes that it wears at the seashore. Three, she shucks, shaves, shears, and chooses which beans to cash in at the market. Four, she brought a cheat sheet which matches the test questions in her class. Five, Sherry likes cherries, cheese, chips, and cheap sherbet. Okay, let's go to the next part. To many sheiks, the ambition is to show enough wealth so they can live comfortably without, with their family and not have to worry about how to pay bills on a monthly basis. Pretty good, but you forgot the A. On, a. on a monthly basis. Don't forget the A. This definition, definition of sure success... Don't forget this, not this. This. This definition can be achieved, but uh, is it by hard work or is it by luck? The answer is neither. Success can be achieved by working smarter, not harder, and luck plays no role in this calculated effort. Let's try the word harder, har, harder, harder. You're saying like harder, harder. So uh, let's read this one together. To many sheiks, the ambition is to show enough wealth so they can live comfortably with their family and not have to worry about how to pay bills on a monthly basis. This definition of sure success can be achieved, but is it by hard work or is it by luck? The answer is neither. Success can be achieved by working smarter, not harder, and luck plays no role in this calculated effort. All right, so I think we're okay there. Now, I think if I'm looking at it correctly, you now have a practice test, a speaking practice test that you want to practice. All right, so let's take a look at that. So it says, some people keep in touch with friends and family by using the telephone. Others use letters or emails. Which one would you choose and why? All right. Okay, let me make sure I have the rubrics here. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to go ahead and click on that so I can use the rubrics as you're doing your speech. Let me make sure I'm still recording. Yes, I'm at 18 minutes. My goodness. Okay, let's go back to where we are. Okay, I'm now going to listen to your practice test. Personally speaking, my preferred means of communication to keep in touch with friends and family is the telephone because it's very... Okay, here. To keep in touch. Tut. Touch. Pronunciation, right? Some pronunciation problems. ...is inconvenient and it's been helping me to avoid miscommunication. Firstly, by using the telephone to keep in touch with friends and family, it's easy and convenient because the only thing I need to do is just picking up the phone and dialing their numbers. However, if I would would use written letters or emails, I would... Re That's tough for you. Written letters. Written letters. So you're having some trouble in your speech right now. It looks like the T sound, maybe the W sound, the R sound. I own the computers or post office schedule. Secondly, by using the telephone, it's been helping me to avoid miscommunication. Case in point, if okay, I'm... Hold on a minute, let me go back and listen to something. Post office schedule. Secondly, by using the telephone, it's been helping me to avoid miscommunication. Secondly, by using the telephone, it's been helping... Now, that's, by using telephone, it has been helping. Now, I think that's a grammatical issue. Put using the telephone helps me to. So when you're using your gerund in the beginning as your subject, then you want to have your verb after that. You don't need another subject in there. Me to avoid miscommunication. Case in point, if I'm talking over the phone, I can clarify any doubts I can have in real time. I would say clarify. <laughs> Without any doubt. Clarify. Okay, let me go back. Now, I've been paying so much attention to the words and the pronunciation. Let me 
let me play it again and just focus on the host speaking, page. My preferred means of communication to keep in touch with friends and family is the telephone because it's very easy and convenient and it's been helping me to avoid miscommunication. Firstly, by using the telephone to keep in touch with friends and family, it's easy and convenient because the only thing I need to do is just picking up the phone and dialing their numbers. However, if I would, uh, would use written letters or emails, I would rely on the computer's or post office schedule. Secondly, by using the telephone, it's been helping me to avoid miscommunication. Case in point, if I'm talking over the phone, I can clarify any doubts I can have in real time. Okay, so grammatically, you're kind of jumping off a cliff a little bit. So you keep using this by using the telephone or by using the computer. Even if you put a verb after it, it still doesn't work. Because once you use by and then you use gerund, that's what's called a prepositional phrase. You don't want to have a verb after that. But anyway, some intelligibility problems, you have some grammatical problems, I think, in the speech. Uh, based on that, if I take a look at the rubrics, uh, I'm going to put you right now, I'm going to put you at about 3.0 out of 4 or 23 points out of 30 on this particular speaking task. Now, here's your homework assignment. Uh, I want you to take this speech and write it down, the whole thing. Kind of listen to what you just said, right? But then write it all down, create your topic statement, create your two points, your examples, put it all in there, and then really polish it. Make sure you correct every possible error that's in there. Practice it a few times, and then post it one more time for me so I can hear it. And that can sometimes help you a little bit because if you pay more attention to how you do the speech before you do it, you'll probably do a better job and eventually you will be able to internalize these types of grammar and vocabulary structures that you're using. Alrighty.